Chapter 35 And God saith unto Jacob, Rise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there, and make there an altar to God, who appeared unto thee in thy fleeing from the face of Esau thy brother. And Jacob saith unto his household, and unto all who are with him, Turn aside the gods of the stranger which are in your midst, and cleanse yourselves, and change your garments. And we rise and go up to Bethel, and I make there an altar to God, who is answering me in the day of my distress, and is with me in the way that I have gone. And they give unto Jacob all the gods of the stranger that are in their hand, and the rings that are in their ears. And Jacob hideth them under the oak which is by Shechem. And they journey, and the terror of God is on the cities which are round about them, and they have not pursued after the sons of Jacob. And Jacob cometh into Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, it is Bethel, he and all the people who are with him. And he buildeth there an altar, and proclaimeth at the place the God of Bethel. For there had God been revealed unto him, in his fleeing from the face of his brother. And Deborah, Rebekah's nurse, dieth, and she is buried at the lower part of Bethel, under the oak. And he calleth its name Oak of Weeping. And God appeareth unto Jacob again in his coming from Padan Aram, and blesseth him. And God saith to him, Thy name is Jacob, thy name is no more called Jacob, but Israel is thy name. And he calleth his name Israel. And God saith to him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and an assembly of nations is from thee, and kings from thy loins go out. And the land which I have given to Abraham and to Isaac, to thee I give it, yea, to thy seed after thee I give the land. And God goeth up from him in the place where he hath spoken with him. And Jacob setteth up a standing pillar in the place where he hath spoken with him, a standing pillar of stone. And he poureth on it an oblation, and he poureth on it oil. And Jacob calleth the name of the place where God spake with him Bethel. And they journey from Bethel, and there is yet a Kibroth of land before entering Ephrathah. And Rachel beareth, and is sharply pained in her bearing. And it cometh to pass in her being sharply pained in her bearing, that the midwife saith to her, Fear not, for this also is a son for thee. And it cometh to pass in the going out of her soul, for she died, that she calleth his name Ben-Oni, and his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel dieth, and is buried in the way to Ephrathah, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob setteth up a standing pillar over her grave, which is the standing pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyeth, and stretcheth out his tent beyond the river of Edar. And it cometh to pass in Israel's dwelling in that land, that Reuben goeth and lieth with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heareth. And the sons of Jacob are twelve, sons of Leah, Jacob's firstborn Reuben, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulun, sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and sons of Bilhah, Rachel's maidservant, Dan, and Naphtali, and sons of Zilpah, Leah's maidservant, Gad, and Asher. These are sons of Jacob, who have been born to him in Padan Aram. And Jacob cometh unto Isaac his father at Mamre, the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac have sojourned. And the days of Isaac are a hundred and eighty years. And Isaac expireth, and dieth, and is gathered unto his people, aged and satisfied with days. And bury him to Esau and Jacob his sons.